Let's convert this polar equation into a Cartesian equation. So this means at the end for our answer, we should have an equation that has just x and y. Here we have r equals to tangent theta times secant theta. So as usual, let's write this in terms of sine and cosine only. So with that being said, we can write this equation as r equals to tangent theta is the same as sine theta over cosine theta, and secant theta is the same as saying 1 over cosine theta, right? And then, of course, we can put these kind of things together. Altogether, we have sine theta on the top over cosine squared theta on the bottom. And now what? Well, we need to know some connections now, right? So this is what we have to know. First, let me write down. We know x is equal to r times cosine theta. And likewise, we also know y equals to r times sine theta. And this is perhaps the way that you guys would like better. Let's look at this and try to isolate cosine theta and sine theta. So for the first equation, we are looking at this as cosine theta is equal to x over r. And then for the second equation, we can look at that as sine theta equals to y over r. Okay? And these are the two ingredients that we want to use. Because now I can just plug in this y over r for the sine theta here. Likewise, we do the same for the denominator. So we will have r squared right, r right here. On the top is sine theta, so that's y over r. This is y over r. And then over, on the bottom, this is cosine squared theta. We know cosine theta is x over r, so we just have to square this, square that. So that means I will have x squared over r squared. So this is what we have. And now what? This is a complex fraction. We see you have y over r over x squared over r squared. Let's do this. Let's multiply the top and bottom by r squared, the lowest common denominator for the little fractions. And we see r squared, r squared will cancel. And then we can look at this equation now as r equals to y over r times r squared. One of the r's cancel out each other. So we have just r times y over, for the bottom, we just have x squared, right? And then you see this equation, this is r equals to r times y over x squared. So of course, we can reduce the r on both sides. So let me show you, let's multiply both sides by 1 over r, so that this and that will cancel, this and that will cancel. And then, be careful though, on the left-hand side, we have 1. And then on the right-hand side, we have y over x squared, right? And then perhaps we can then multiply both sides by x squared. At the end, we can say this is y equals to x squared times 1, just x squared. And what's this? It needs no introduction. This is a parabola that we know, our good old friend. Okay, so this is it.